CPA here in Carson City, Nevada. I've been uh, kind of getting through tax season and now that's all over. We're going to start up these business coaching videos again. And uh, we've got a special treat here today. We're going to start off with Toby Tatum, who's uh, he's going to be joining me. He's a friend of mine and he's also our staff business appraiser. He has an MBA. He's a certified business appraiser. He's a certified valuation uh, analyst and he has over 15 years of, of uh, valuation expertise. So we want to talk about an important consideration for a small business owner. It's called a buy-sell agreement. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes there's multiple owners in a business of a small and medium-sized business, and they hopefully have a buy-sell agreement that defines how they're doing business. So, Toby, if you could spend just a few minutes going over some of the highlights or important things about a buy-sell agreement that hopefully they have considered. Well, Kelly, in the time that we have here this morning, the most important thing that I would like to get across to folks about the buy-sell agreement is that, based in my experience, most of them are a ticking time bomb. And uh, by that I mean that uh, when there's an event that triggers the buy-sell agreement, that it's discovered too late that there are serious flaws in the uh, agreement and that it uh, is, does a very poor job or miserable job of providing a fair and equitable price in terms of sale for the partner whose interest is being bought out or the heirs of that uh, partner. Well, that's a disturbing thought. I, I would have thought that most buy-sell agreements are trying to address what happens when a, a partner dies. And uh, I'm hearing that you think there's a lot more than just when a partner dies. Could you maybe go over that a little bit? What do you think is important? Well, sure. Actually, the death of a, a partner is one of the least frequently encountered reasons that triggers a buy-sell agreement. There are 20 different events that can trigger a buy-sell agreement that need to be properly addressed in that agreement. So 20 different events, all of these different possibilities are adequately addressed in most buy-sell agreements? Much of the time, no. So, wow, what I hear you saying is that you know most parties need to address these 20 different uh, events in a buy-sell agreement. Uh, is that right? Well, yeah, but that's only partly what needs to be addressed. The other issue is extremely important is the method by which the uh, uh, value of the business or the buyout price is going to be determined. There are three different ways that this is, can be addressed in a buy-sell agreement. There's the, what we call the fixed price agreement, where whatever the value of the business and the buyout uh, price is going to be is specified exactly in the buyout agreement. There's what we call a formula agreement where the formula that the partners are going to use to calculate the value of the business and the buyout price is specified. And then there are uh, process agreements. And process agreements specify who is going to be brought in as an expert, an outside expert, to determine on behalf of the partners what the uh, value of the business is and the purchase price is going to be. Now, there are um, advantages and disadvantages to all three methods. And if the buy-sell agreement is not properly managed, then in the event of a, in a triggering event, what we can find is that instead of getting a quick and equitable resolution, instead this whole thing uh, collapses into a, a contentious and expensive uh, litigation, fighting over the uh, fair value for the business and a fair uh, purchase price in terms of sale. And then there's also, the concern for the level of value that needs to be addressed in the buy-sell agreement. So tell me more about that level of value, Toby. A level of value is something that's probably not well understood by most business owners. Uh, and what that means is in those events where we have a, uh, a partner who's a minority ownership interest in the business, then when we determine that minority ownership interest for purposes of uh, buying that partner out, uh, I, as a business appraiser, will, uh, in accordance with the definition of fair market value, apply a discount on the total value of the business for that partnership's interest for what we call lack of control and lack of marketability. And what that means then is that that minority ownership interest, uh, when it's purchased by the uh, surviving partner, that interest can end up being less or even less than half of what that uh, departing partner or his heirs thought they were going to get. Wow. 
you were a kid when you said a buy sell agreement could be a ticking time bomb. Absolutely. Off. So, what kind of advice can you give our, our, our watchers here about a buy sell agreement? Get it reviewed and get it reviewed now. Uh, before any event triggers it. Because once an event triggers the buy-sell agreement, the interest of the parties and their families diverge, and it becomes impossible at that time to negotiate and work out uh, fixes for problems that are in that buy-sell agreement. Now, how much would something like this cost? Uh, generally, I would charge, it depends on the time it takes, but I, between $500 and $1,000 is what I would uh, typically charge. But uh, for right now, what I'm offering uh, your clients and anybody that's watching this video is I will do that review for no charge. Whoa, no charge. No charge. Let me tell you folks, when Toby does something for free, you better take advantage of it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this button up right here on the screen, and uh, my video guy is going to make this button appear. And if you click on this button, it'll take you to where you can make an appointment to have Toby go over your buy-sell agreement and make sure you got all these... 20 different triggering events and the level of value and everything. So Toby, thank you for spending some time and I think you're probably going to have a few people that want to go over those buy-sell events with you. Give me a call. So thank you very much and we'll be talking to you later.